So I was coming back from New York mm-hmm. also, but I was going to Houston. I was with two of my friends and we're sitting in like the back of the plane, like by the restroom. And we had just figured out, this was like senior year of high school and our junior, junior, senior year, whatever. And we're sitting there and we're kind of punchy, you know, like we woke up at like, it was like a 6 a.m. flight and no one went to sleep and we're just like cracking up because I figured out how to use Photoshop mm-hmm. on my, not even Photoshop, like how to use the healing tool. Right. On like sure. iPhotos on, on the laptop. And I was editing off, not that I have that much, but I was editing off everybody's eyebrows in like group photos. I was like peeing my pants laughing, like stomping on the ground laughing. Oh, and we God. thought, I don't know why we thought it was like the funniest thing in the world. We go to get off the plane and this little man stands up in front of me. It's Kevin Hart. Uh huh. I was like, oh my God. Kevin. Can I get a photo? And he was like, dude, absolutely not. <laughs> You and your friends are the most obnoxious people on the planet. And I go, yes. Yep. <laughs> totally. Enjoy the rest I of your day. With- do, you, do you need help getting your suitcase right. down? <laughs> <laughs> I agree with Kevin in the sense, like, I don't think anybody should be allowed to talk to each other on a plane. Even if oh, you, yeah. No, yeah. me too. Even if you came, like, even if it's your wife, like, no. No. Save it for when we land yeah. or communicate via notes app. Like, no one should be able to open their mouth unless you're a screaming baby, which, like, ideally you wouldn't be on the plane at all. Um, and that's just how I feel. So, team Kevin. Team Kevin all team the way. Kevin. No, I'm, and I'm, you're team Kevin. I, I'm on his yeah. side for that. Like, I literally was like, wow. When he said that, I was like, mm, yep, we are p- super annoying. And yeah. I, I, I get that. So I had this professor in college mm-hmm. and I hated him. Okay. Like worst professor I've ever had. But the only thing I remember from his class was um, he gave us this one, p- this one challenge, which just shows you that I have a bullshit degree. Uh-huh. Is that like one of our weeks <laughs> was a challenge and it was to just switch it up in, in like whatever. He said something along the lines of just like switch up your day to day. Oh, yeah. You told me this once, I think. Yeah, it's yeah. fascinating. So I've been doing that. I like have been on my whole there day shit. Mm-hmm. I have nailed it, by the way. I'm didn't. S- that's exciting. I did everything this weekend that I would normally do, but I didn't like drink at all. And I like. Can you walk me through like what does a day of eating look like on whole, on your whole 30? It's like weird. It's actually not as like debilitating as you think it'd be. It's, it's like I, I have my smoothie every morning and then I had to stop drinking coffee and then I, I got back on coffee. Uh, yeah. But I'm only having one cup a day. Okay. You have to cut out wheat you have to cut right. out like obviously dairy right. I, don't, I don't need dairy but blah 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 anyways nailed it been doing it it's been okay. it's, day, it's day 12 awesome now. wait wow 11 yeah um but i'm like i might as well just like do other healthy sh- stuff too because i have nothing else to do mm-hmm. um and i remember this professor's advice to switch it up and i want to tell everybody here i want to give you this this little piece of advice switch it up totally Good advice. And let me let me give an example of switching up. So his 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 challenge to us was like switch up your day to day routine because when you switch up something that is maybe a little uh, just like built into your day to day, like yeah. maybe you have a cup of coffee every day, have a cup of tea. Switch it up because what happens when you do things like that? When you when you change like this like built in robotic day to day thing that you do, you have a cup of tea. Your your neurons start to fire. You're gonna have thoughts that you wouldn't have had if you just have your cup of coffee in the morning. You have a cup of tea instead of your coffee. You go, ooh, this is British. Oh, the Queen died. Who else is old? My grandma. I should call my grandma. Boom, you're in the will. Whoa. That could change your. You see what I mean? I'm gonna change the way I walk. Uh, the coffee shop or wherever this. One. I'm gonna, I'm I'm commuting to work. I'm gonna go a different way. Ooh, I'm seeing some graffiti. Maybe I should get back into painting. I go to the art store. I'm at Michaels. I. I'm talking to the cashier. She ends up being the love of my life. She invites me to Christmas dinner. I steal something from her house. I The hairs on my arm are standing up. Yeah. Th- this is the be- And this is the professor you hated? Yeah. Anyways, welcome home. Thank you for having me. Yeah. I didn't. I missed L.A. They, you know what they say? What? The best thing in the world is leaving L.A. And the best thing in the world is coming back to L.A. And I agree with that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you lovely, agree? I love leaving. I don't necessarily like love you don't coming, like coming back. back. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Shoot, I was going to tell you something else. And now I can't remember it. I so. was going to tell you something. This would have been really good in, when we were talking about PMSing and the plight of womanhood. But right. Well, we can it's always, okay. We can always circle back. It's always relevant. It's always relevant. I was just thinking how it sucks that you'll never be able to experience like PMSing and just the plight of womanhood in general. And then I thought of like a little something you could try sure. to experience just like oh, I the can't things wait that to try this. women go through. At Don't Worry Darling during the I was applying my lip gloss and I was like, damn, I wish Connor was here because I wish he could apply this. Because it's the Too Faced lip injection, which is something that most women have used in their lives or some needle? form. No, it's a lip gloss and it makes your lips look bigger, which is like, why do we even want that? And two, it hurts. Like, me, why are we putting ourselves through I thought, this? You said two-phase lip injection. I go, no. were you like shooting no. up at the after party? <laughs> what do you mean? That is what it's called because it hurts. Well, give me it. Yeah. Put it on me. So I want you to, you want me to put it on sure, you or you want to yeah. put it on? I'm going to lather it onto the lather, lather me up. gorgeous lips of yours. And you can just experience like what women put themselves through. Okay, now kind of rub together. No, I'm adding another coat. You're just doing bottom lip.
I'm doing bottom really top kind of, mustache you, as well. You're really uh, generous with where you think my white person <laughs> lips are. Well, I want you to walk me through the experience of what you're feeling during the Too Faced lip injection process. Right now I'm feeling so, so, sopping, wet. sopping wet. Yeah. Soaked. It takes a minute for you to feel something. Yeah. But just know this is something that just like women put themselves through for what? For what? For what? I don't know. Yeah, no. Well, while I'm waiting, I guess, for it to kick in. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you. You look good. Thanks. <laughs> Over the weekend, I. Yeah. How was your weekend? Sorry, I'm being rude. No, I've been having back issues. Mm, totally, like really bad. Totally. I'm actually gonna go to this like Eastern, Eastern or Western medicine, whichever one is good. We are Western. Like of what? We live on a sphere. I don't get what we're west of. We're west of everyone's west and east of everyone else. I think if you just look at the flat map, that's not a sphere. Okay, yes, Columbus. We are, a, we are a sphere, but just like the image of the map. Who chose that? I actually have no idea. That does not make any sense to me. Anyways, the healthy one, like no pills, not big farm type like person. Like vitamin, more so. Like, he- like health. Uh-huh. Um, so that's Eastern. Guru, yeah. That's more like Asian. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 East, yes. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to go to Indian, one of those. yeah. Um, so I was putting icy, This no, it wasn't icy hot, but it was like something more intense. Mm-hmm. And I forgot, and I had at some point touched my balls. <laughs> Both of them. Both. And uh, that was something that I, I think was pretty close to lip injection to face. Worse or better than when you washed your ball region as well as ass region with your tea tree face wash? You forgot my taint as well. And taint. Sorry, sorry. I just, when I. Um, well, region, that was like. A long, it was implied. That was, that was like a longer process <laughs> right. because that broke out in hives. Right. But this was like so painful. And then I, when mm-hmm. I, when you try to wash it off, mm-hmm. it totally. doesn't come off for some reason. Totally. And I was like, no, 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 no. You just have to wait it out. It was very bad. Is this why you canceled our meeting no, or postponed no. our meeting an hour yesterday no, because that... of the icy hot? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. How are your lips, by the way? They're feeling warm. They feel warm. Do they feel warm? Yeah. Not painful in any way yet? No. Okay. Keep me updated. That's it, really. Can I? It is actually burning, like, not my actual lip, like my- Like the my, top? Like- Your mustache area. part of this is. Your mustache area? It's because I shaved yesterday. Oh, okay. Well, you could, feel free oh, to wipe that- kind of burning. Uh-huh. Feel free to wipe that part off. No, but not the lip. Not the lip. I'm not. I'm going to- I'm going above it. Okay. It is like Let me see. an experience like for me, like POV, you're podcasting with Connor with lip gloss on. It is an ex- <laughs> it is like an, an experience. Would recommend to anyone listening to, to Take a picture. tune in. To, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, damn. I wish my Be Real was going off. Um, hold on. I'm really quickly taking a picture of Connor in this. Look at me. Really, really, really cute. Oh, yeah. My lips are feeling very um, <laughs> like immobile. Right. <laughs> like, <laughs> like you're not really numb. Moving. Numb. I yeah, think numb yeah. is the word you're looking for. <laughs> numb, but with a lot of numb, burning feeling. Numb, but totally feeling. Yeah. Num- yeah. yeah. Numb, numb, but, but totally it feels like it. someone is like has a blow dryer like right. really close to them. 